Good afternoon, guys. This is my homework for one of my teachers, Miss Lopez. And I went around the house and I found these materials. I found these old garden lights. These are going. These lights are going to be my load. These two batteries, I just taped them together, so it's going to have a little bit more charge. A switch and some tape that's going to be my insulator and the conductors are inside of the wires okay let's start so first i need to figure out which sides to put me on so it's on So I got that connected. And then I'm going to try to put this one here. This one here. This is up. So now this goes there. Okay, so now I just need to tape it together. Now I need to take the other side. And now it's turned on, so that means it's connected. I I need to put the tape on a little bit. After securing the wires, we know that it works because we tested out the switch. Yay! Hey, Koya! What hey, are Kaya. you doing? Oh, um, I'm doing this experiment with these small light bulbs. Right. These are really and small. And we have the switch so we can turn it on, like right now, and off. Hey, look, I see um, a broken one. It's okay, that one's just broke because it was outside. <laughs> you want to try to switch that? Yeah. Up and on. That's working for ya. It works because all of the negative charges in the battery is pushed off into this wire. And once it gets into the switch, if it's off, it just stays in that wire. And if it's closed, it can just continue flowing. And that takes us to this part of the wire where it finally reaches the load, which is all of these lights. Um, then once it's done going through the load, it's going to go into this wire right here and start to get that pulled back into the battery and it and the circuit just starts all over again do you know why the insulators are so important no because if we cut this wire and this wire and we connect them it's slow i mean it makes fire it's gonna make fire and if the battery is has too much charge it's going to be really but bright or it's the light bulb might explode yeah it's, it's on 
look at them up there. And if the light bulbs don't get enough power that they need, they might be a little bit dim. What's a dim for ya? It means not that bright, so... Like the light... So it's lighting up, but not that bright. Like the dark right now? Sort of. <laughs> This light bulb, uh, these, all of these light bulbs, all need three volts all together, and each battery is 1.5 oh, 1.5 volts. So we we need two of them, 1.5 volts times two equals three volts. Ooh, awesome. that's why I put two volt batteries. If I put two more batteries, or even one more battery, it might explode or it might be really bright. But if I don't put that many, it might not work or it's going to be really dark. Or it's not going to work at all. So Sarah, now do you understand the load, which is the light bulb, the wire, which is the conductor, the rubber, which is insul the insulator, the power supply, the battery, and the switch. Yeah! Yep. Okay. Good. Now it's time to turn off the light. <laughs> so, Sarah, do you enjoy touching the lights? Yay! Do you know why you can touch the lights? Because I can feel them, see them. <laughs> because of the insulator. Oh, without the, insulator. the in, without the insulator, the it might short, short circuit, or you might get electrocuted. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this experiment about circuit electricity. Wait, I can't see because this is the other open door. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bye guys, Bye for guys. watching.